In this second video, we will explore the environment and lighting possibilities in Maxwell. Open the scene that we provide to follow this video. Select camera 2, which offers a more distant view. We also provide a backdrop .mxm yellow material to be applied to the backdrop. Select it and drag it over the backdrop object into the viewport. The Maxwell environment settings contain the environment types. The main options are Sky Dome, Physical Sky, Image Based and None. Choose Sky Dome which allows you to set a lighting dome surrounding the scene. You can set the color and intensity of the dome light. Set one minute as the render time per frame in the engine tab. Select an output file, format and path for the render to be stored. Select the camera and adjust the focus distance by manually dragging the handler. This is the distance at which the objects will appear in focus. Hit render. It produces a nice and easy lighting setup. The rendering process will go on until the render time set in the output engine tab is reached. You can also specify the level of quality, sampling level to be reached. Of course, you can manually stop the render by hitting the stop button. Now let's explore the image-based lighting possibilities. Enable the background channel to set an HDR image lighting. Browse the HDR image we provide with this scene. You can adjust the image environment settings from the environment tab. You can even visualize the HDR environment in the display. Hit render to let that image illuminate your scene. This is a very common technique that uses high dynamic range images for lighting 3D scenes, as well as for reflection, refractions and backgrounds. HDRI or MXI files can be used. You will get the light intensity and colors that were captured in the HDR image. Now let's talk about emitters. Temporarily disable the environment contribution by selecting none in the environment type. Then enable multi-light. The scene contains three simple planes that are going to be used as emitters. In real life, all light sources have their own surface and volume. This is the same in Maxwell. Light sources are always emitting materials applied to actual geometry, which gives a natural and accurate result. Apply a Maxwell material to one plane and select emitter using the wizard. The wizard helps you to create materials step by step. Choose the color with the color picker and set the power in watts. You can tweak the emitter and even preview the emitter material using the Maxwell Material Editor and the Refresh Preview icon.
create and apply emitters to the three planes. The Maxwell Material Editor is where you will create and adjust your materials, including emitters. You can remove the yellow backdrop material if you want to get a better perception of the contribution of the emitters alone. You can now render to see your emitters in action. Multilight is a very interesting feature. When enabled, the renderer stores the contribution of each light separately, allowing you to adjust each light source contribution with a slider during the render or even after it finishes. You can mute one light using the M button or hit the S button to display it in solo mode. It is an extremely useful feature, letting you decide the lighting setup while you watch the result in real time. You do not have to relaunch the render for each and every change. This gives you full control over the result. Now let's explore the Physical Sky capabilities. Select Physical Sky in Environment Settings. Enable Use Sun to ensure a direct sun illumination. The sun orientation can be shown in the Rhino viewport. Hide the emitters and disable multi-light to see the environment contribution alone. You can control all the atmospherical conditions, like ozone and water thickness, turbidity or atmospheric scattering. You can set the time by setting the hour, date and location from a preset cities list or by latitude longitude. Maxwell will automatically recreate the lighting conditions of that specific moment and location. You can adjust your render exposure by adjusting the film sensitivity, ISO, and shutter speed at any time during the rendering process, or even after the render finishes. Check the Maxwell Manual to get a more in-depth explanation of all these physical concepts and how to use them in your scenes. What about animation? Of course, you can use Maxwell to render your animated sequences from Rhino. Create a simple animation in Rhino. Enable the Catch Meshes option to export all the animated frames. Set an output name and path for the rendered frames. Hit Render. All frames are exported to separate MXS files and rendered in Maxwell. After the render, you will get the rendered sequence in your output path. You must set the rendering time per frame with the render time parameter or set a desired sampling level, level of quality, in the engine tab. 